I'm really excited about being part of the IOG Game Changer because I've always wanted to change my game. There are a lot of good cricketers uh, that turn out to be really good golfers, and Mike Hendry's obviously one of them. So um, I'm really interested to see what Mark's got. And I'm like your typical tortured single figure, like eight handicapper, where you think you, you should be better than what you are, and you get very frustrated. I've been frustrated about my game for a long time, so this is really exciting. All right, Mark, so part of our IOG screening, we're going to have a look at you on the golf course. Right. All right, we're going to check you straight under the pump, first of all. We've got the first hole of Titterangi, and we're going to have a look and see just what you like on the golf course. Well, I'm already nervous because I know I shouldn't hit driver here. See, when I used to play here, I'd lay out with a four iron yeah. and no. then have a full shot in. See how it really goes. And no, I won't be in the houses on the right-hand side. You guys didn't tell me he was left-handed. I don't think we'll flip him right-handed just yet, but we'll see, see how good he is. Well, at least you made contact, and it's gone past the ladies, so that's a, obviously a positive. I'm uh, really excited about working with the Institute of Golf because they know golf. They've worked with the best, they've probably worked with the worst, uh, and Laura, and I think they'd work wonders with Laura. So you're taking dead aim? Yeah, I think I'm pretty much lined up straight at that pin. It's okay. sort of in the middle of the green. Yep. I'm going to put it over the top. I, I don't, I'd have to do it badly to find the bunker, okay. you'd say. Oh my god. Holy. <laughs> Holy s***. It's gone at like 60 degrees left. Um, <laughs> I'm not quite sure what to say. Okay. This is the first time this happened. I tend to hit the ball all over the show. I'm either on or off. And when I'm off, I'm, I'm big time off. Uh, and when I'm on, I think it's a timing thing, being a typical cricketer. I'll go around, I have lots of pars, but I'll, I'll have lots of double bogeys. And those ladies are going to steal my golf ball. You have hit it two fairways over. <laughs> <laughs> It probably is just the little little approach wedge, you know, it's a 52 degrees sort of one, isn't yep. it? Yeah, perfect. Here you go, sir. Probably slightly more comfortable with a shot like this than if I had to, like, you know, pitch it in the air. Oh, really? Yeah. So what, what shot would you really feel uncomfortable with? If I had to fly it through the pin. With what club? With a 60. Here you go. Oh, God, go. <laughs> All right, 60, cool fly it today. close. I'm looking for a bit of consistency, and I've got major issues with my short game. The old electric shocks in the hand when you go to hit it nowadays, like, I've yipped out big time on my short game, and at my age, 43, uh, coming back from the yips is not easy. Oh, it's gone a bit far. You can see the movement there, the yippiness to there, it, eh? There was a bit of a yip. Yeah. yeah. It's actually hitting the ball well is the issue. A lot of fat ones, a lot of thin ones, a lot of duff shots, so a lack of this confidence. My, this would be my nightmare. So I'm here with two on a par five. Yeah. I'm here for two. You know, you've got a great chance of still making birdie here. Yeah. Great chance. And I'm, I'm looking at that and I'm going, can someone else hit that for me, too? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what have you guys got me into? Um, he's, he's clearly, a, he's been a good golfer and he's got some pretty good hand-eye coordination. Unfortunately, the poor guy's under a bit of pressure today and not hitting it as well as what he could. When we do these screenings, we want to see players play badly. I've done that again. It's fantastic to see him hit bad shots because we know exactly what's happening when he does hit bad ones. Yeah, that, that's my ropey hook shot. So this is really going to help us moving forward. No. There's that hook again. It's all right. Oh, it's Very it. consistent. Very consistent. We can sort that out. It's not a problem. With Mark's work ethic, he's been an international cricketer. And he's done triathlon. So I think his, his dedication to this is going to be pretty intense. And he's got some pretty big goals and aspirations. I'm going to beat Mike Hendry at the end of this. I know he's a pro and I'm not, but I own a few things. See, when I played cricket against him, I was the pro and he wasn't. And he owned me. Now, I know that he's a far better golfer than me, but just this one day, I'm going to step up and I'm going to absolutely thrash him. See, that's, that, that's, that, that's how you yep, do it, yep. eh? I've always promised myself that in these situations, I would never play conservative golf. Good. Because I played conservative cricket. Yeah. And it was no fun. <laughs> so I'm thinking um, I'll play, like, I'm going to play that shot that uh, Bubba Watson played on uh, the 10th in the playoff at the Masters. OK. Obviously, it's a little bit longer. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh. It's gone straight left again. <laughs> I thought I hit that really well. I thought no, I played no. it brilliantly. Oh, jeez. Thank you. So no wonder you don't clean your grooves. You never hit them. No. I don't know if you guys can see this, <laughs> but how are we going to get any control off that? I'm not a pro, <laughs> all right? So I, I don't have professional standards. You <laughs> don't even have any grooves. <laughs> if it was my cricket bat, it would be perfectly yeah, yeah. clean. I can promise <laughs> you that. I've read marks. If you want to beat Mike, you're going to have to hold a lot of these. OK. I was awful today. This was me pretty much my worst, uh, when the timing's not right, which is 
a great starting point. I'm sort of glad I did play really badly. Yeah, I agree. I think I've seen you play your worst, and hopefully I've seen you play your worst. <laughs> well, I see myself a tough challenge, didn't I? Taking on one of New Zealand's best players. A lot of practice, that's what I need to do. A lot of practice. He's got some really good skills that we just need to refine and get a little bit better. Um, but we'll see how we go, eh? Yeah, let's, let's get on the range.